Hello everyone, this is Sir Mel and welcome to my channel. In this particular video, I will be taking a look at the structure and functions of microfilaments. When we're talking about the cell structure and functions, in particular, the motility of cells, the microfilaments play a major role in that. And even though the microfilaments are the smallest units of the cytoskeleton, they play a major role in cell motility and its regulation. Microfilaments are solid and thin structures that are often organized into a branch network and are composed of the protein actin. Structurally, each microfilament is made up of these monomeric units of G-actin monomer G because these monomeric units of actin are in the globular form and when these G actin monomers polymerizes and aggregate into this intertwined helical structure that we can see here then we get a microfilament or simply an actin filament or F actin and the F here stands for fibula because why now those monomeric units of G-actin are joined together to form this fiber-like structure. So as you can see here, the actin filaments sort of look like two intertwined strands of ropes. The microfilaments are mostly found scattered in the cortical regions of the cell just below the plasma membrane whereas the microtubules and intermediate filaments are found in the subcortical regions of the cell. And I've already made a video about the microtubules and if you want to check out that video, you can click the I here at the right hand corner of your screen. The microfilaments are approximately 8 nanometers in diameter and in the presence of ATP, the G-actin monomers, like I said, will polymerize to form this flexible and helical filament. The actin filament essentially is a two-stranded structure with two helical grooves running along its length. Molecularly, each actin filament consists of a helical array of actin subunits with rod-shaped tropomyosin molecules situated in the grooves and troponin molecules spaced at defined intervals. And this is also a very important characteristic feature of the actin filaments. And if you want to find out how these associated proteins like troponin and anthropomycin work in conjunction with the actin filaments, then stick around to the end of this video. Microfilaments, as I've said, play a vital role in cell motility and therefore have several functions in this aspect, including the movement of cells as well as muscular contraction. Some of these functions include the formation of cleavage furrow during the process of cellular division and more specifically during the division of the cytoplasm. Microfilaments are also involved in the movement of epithelial cells over a damaged area or injured area in order to replace those damaged cells. The movement of white blood cells, in particular the uh, macrophages that patrol the tissues and organs in our bodies by engulfing foreign pathogen through the process of phagocytosis. The migration of cells of the neural crest in order to form the pigment cells of the skin, teeth and the cartilage of the jaws all depend upon the motile functions of the microfilaments. The microfilaments or actin filaments along with the myosin fibers are an important component of the myofibril and hence play a vital role in the contraction of skeletal muscle cells. When ATP-bound myosin head of the myosin fiber 
joins the actin filament to form a cross bridge. This will pull and release the actin filament in a process of molecular contraction. And these are just some of the functions of the microfilaments. And that is all about the structure and functions of microfilaments. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.